Hello students, welcome to easytolearn.com. In this lesson, we are going to discuss volume and surface area of sphere. So first we need to define what is a sphere mathematically. We have to define this key definition. We have to discuss sphere. So sphere is three dimensional 3D round shape object. It's a 3D round shape object. So like this, this is the sphere and uh, it is the center of the sphere. It's a round shape 3D object and if you mark a point from center on the surface of the sphere, so this length is called radius of the sphere r and it could be like this it can be this radius this radius this radius everywhere this is the radius of sphere all points on the surface of the sphere are equidistant from the center of the sphere so this point because it's a radius this is a radius so all points on the surface of sphere are at equidistance from the center of the sphere now we have to find the volume of sphere how much space is occupied by this sphere so the volume of sphere formula volume of sphere it could be given in paper formula is given in paper but I suggest you you must learn it by heart so 4 over 3 pi r cube and what is r r is radius r is radius so it's a volume of sphere how much space occupied by the sphere the surface area surface area if you open this 3D shape, convert into 2D shape, so it will become a flat shape. The area covered by that flat shape is the surface area. For example, if you have a football and open, unstitch all pieces of the football and place it on table, join it together. So the area covered by that, uh, those pieces is called the surface area of spheres. So, surface area of sphere formula is 4 pi r square and r is the radius of sphere. So, these two formula you must know it given, it could be given in paper, this formula, but I will prefer you should learn it by heart. And the next important thing is if you cut the sphere in two equal half, we call it hemisphere. Hemi sphere. For example, we are going to cut a sphere in two equal halves like this. It's cut in. If it is solid, so this bottom area will also be closed. But if it is hollow, the bottom area is not closed. So, if we are talking about the volume of spheres, the volume of hemispheres, it is same for the both hollow and solid. It is a solid. This is the solid hemisphere and it is hollow hemisphere. So, volume is the same. So, what is the volume of both sphere? So, volume of hemisphere, volume of hemisphere. 4 over 3 pi r cube is the volume of full sphere and you multiply it by half 1 over 2 so you will get the volume of hemisphere so 1 over 2 times 4 over 3 pi r cube and you can reduce it I mean, so reduce we can simplify karke. so 2 over 3 pi r cube so this is the volume of hemisphere but when we are talking about the surface area, we must be very careful because if the hemisphere is solid, 
so volume of solid hemisphere sorry volume not volume i am talking about the surface area surface area of solid hemisphere so it is a round shape area this one so it is a half 1 over 2 4 pi r square 4 pi r square is full and times 1 over 2 it will the half round shape plus this bottom area this much this bottom area also so you will add it it's a circular shape is a pi r square so i should change the color to make it visible so it is the pi r square like this this area should be added but if you have a surface area of surface area of hollow hemisphere then you can have you have only the curved surface area so 1 over 2 into 4 pi r square so you don't have this it is the open yeah it is the open it is a not solid it is not covered it is not included in the formula so i hope you have understood what is the volume of sphere and its formulas what is the concept of hemispheres and when we are talking about when we are dealing with the surface area we must identify this hemisphere is a hollow or hemisphere is solid let's discuss few question to understand how to apply these formulas okay let's solve few question students uh, question number one a ball bearing which is spherical in shape so this is sphere spherical in shape mean this is a sphere has radius so r is equal to 0 0.3 centimeter part a calculate the volume of ball bearing since the ball bearing in the shape of sphere that's why so volume of ball bearing is the volume of sphere and the formula of volume of sphere 4 over 3 pi r cube and the radius is given 0 0.3 centimeters now we have to plug in values so 4 over 3 times 3.142 is the value of pi 3.142 times r cube under 0 0.3 cube now we will use calculator to find out this answer so answer is 0 0.1131 so if we round it off three significant figure 1 2 3 this is the third significant figure 0 0.113 centimeter cube part b Find the mass of 6000 identical ball bearing. So, number of ball bearing is 6000. If they are made of the steel of density, density is 7.85 gram per centimeter cube, means that 1 centimeter cube carries. 7.85 gram mass so we have to calculate the density mass of the 6000 ball bearing so first let's find the mass of sorry volume of 6000 ball bearings volume of one ball bearing is 0 0.113 and we will multiply it by 
six thousand and it is equal to six hundred seventy eight cubic centimeter now we can apply the ratio method to find out the mass of ball bearing for example we can write it like this so volume and here is mass you can apply this one centimeter cube because the volume in centimeter cube and the mass in grams so one centimeter cube carries 7.85 gram mass so 678 centimeter cube or cubic centimeter carries how much mass so do cross multiplication so x is equal to 7.85 times 678 let's use calculator 678 multiplied by 7.85 so the answer is 5322.3 grams we can convert it into kilogram by dividing it 1000 so if we divided it by 1000 so we can write 5.322 kg and if you round it off three significant figure so 5.32 kilogram question number two a basketball has a volume of 5600 cubic centimeter find the radius in terms of pi so volume is given and because it's a basketball it's mean it is sphere and the volume is 5600 centimeter cube and we have to find radius in terms of pi so volume of sphere is 4 over 3 into pi r cube now volume is given and it is 5600 4 over 3 we will not plug in values of pi because we need the answer in terms of pi and the radius we have to find the radius now rearrange it when we rearrange it so 5 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 4 divided by pi is equal to r cube now we can write r cube is equal to four thousand two hundred divided by pi so take cube root on both side so cube is cancelled by cube root so we can have the answer the answer is cube root of 4200 divided by pi this is our answer question number three a solid sphere has diameter now in this question we have diameter and it is 14 centimeter so we know that radius is half of dia so 14 divided by 2 it is 7 centimeter so radius of the sphere is 7 centimeter we have to calculate the surface area of sphere and the value of pi is 3.142 so we can write surface area of sphere 4 pi r square now plug in values value of r is 7 so 
we can write 4 times value of pi 3.142 and value of r is 7 it is 7 square now use your calculator to find this answer so 4 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 7 square and your answer is 615.832 we have to round it off 3 significant figure so it will become 606 centimeter square this is our answer question number 4 a hemisphere has curved surface area so curved surface area of hemisphere is 175 centimeter square and we have to find the radius so we know that area of sphere is equal to 4 pi r square but the curved surface area of hemisphere it is a hemisphere this mean we have to multiply it by 1 over 2 so we can write the formula like this so we can say curved surface area of hemisphere so it is a hemisphere so 1 over 2 times 4 pi r square so this is the hemisphere you can say this is the area of hemisphere now plug in values so value of curved surface area is 175 it's 1 over 2 into 4 value of pi it is 3.142 so we can write it here 3.142 and it's a r square now use your calculator will find this value so we can say 4 multiplied by 3.142 divided by 2 so it is equal to 6.284 time r square so we will shift this to the left hand side it is multiplying so on left hand side it will be dividing 175 so it is r square so r square is equal to 175 divided by 6.284 and it is equal to 27.848 this is r square we can say r square is equal to 27.848 now we need to remove this square root squares so take the square root on both side use your calculator to find so the answer is when we'll take the square root the answer is 5.277 and it is the three significant figure one two three and your final answer is 5.28 centimeter so students we have discussed the volume of sphere and the surface area of sphere we also solved few question for our understanding and uh, i hope you have learned and you got the idea and let's goodbye see you in the next lesson